Welcome to the Real Estate Espresso Podcast, your morning shot of what's new in the world of real estate investing. I'm your host, Victor Manash. On today's show, we're talking about how to secure a product in a time of scarcity. Supply chain disruptions are happening all over North America right now. This is affecting everything from electrical switches to plumbing fixtures to windows. Several window manufacturers are quoting 16 to 20 weeks lead time. Subcontractors are busy and scheduling the labor component is also challenging. Construction projects can't sit exposed to the elements waiting for windows and doors. The envelope of the building must be completed fairly quickly, otherwise you risk weather damage. So you've got to carefully schedule the project so it doesn't stall midway through construction. So how do you secure your supply when many components in a construction project require custom manufacturing? You don't necessarily have the luxury of component substitution. You're going to commit to a single manufacturer and you'll be at the mercy of their lead time. Not only that, when a vendor is quoting a 16-week lead time, there's some probable variability around that quoted lead time. I've seen one window manufacturer quote 16 weeks of lead time and then actually deliver in 22 weeks. When your entire construction project is scheduled to take 26 weeks, a single critical item on the critical path can increase the cost of your project significantly. You've got to pay more in property taxes, builder's risk insurance, general conditions, site security, interest charges, material storage, and so on. All of these items end up costing so much more. This is when you've got to get extremely resourceful. There are some parts of the country where construction is slower than others. Manufacturers and suppliers in hot markets are hopelessly overloaded. There's parts of the country that are just ticking along. They're not overly stressed with construction projects. So you want to do the math on the daily cost of delaying your project. Let's imagine that your project is going to cost you $1,000 a day for every day that it's delayed. If your project's going to be delayed 120 days, well, it's 120 grand in added expense to your project. How much are you willing to pay in expediting fees or transportation fees if you need critical, important items that are holding up your project? Imagine for a moment that none of the local window manufacturers can handle your project time frame. But what if you found a window manufacturer in a far-off, low-demand location that could manufacture your windows? Would you be willing to spend an extra 10000 or even 30000 in transportation charges if you knew it could save you 60 days off your schedule? The answer is absolutely yes. You would easily spend ten grand in order to save fifty. That business case works all day long, but more important than that, you're saving time and the intangible savings that come from saving time. Keeping your team more meaningfully engaged throughout the duration of the project is so important. The hardest way to manage a project is if your team demobilizes. Getting them to come back to your project can be incredibly difficult if they've already committed people, equipment, and materials to another site. At that point, the delays multiply, and so does your $1,000 a day cost of delay. The most important thing in a construction project is to bring certainty and predictability to the arrival of materials, equipment, and people. And the number one activity on most construction sites is absolutely nothing. There's a few examples of project management at a very high level that have compressed the time frames to near dizzying levels. The Tesla factory in Shanghai, they constructed their third gigafactory in 168 working days from the issuance of permits to completion of electrical. That's an unbelievably short time frame for a $2 billion project. In order to achieve that schedule, they would have absolutely had control over their supply of materials, equipment, and labor. On a project of that size, there are so many moving parts, the chances of something going wrong is incredibly high. They perform their project management at an incredibly high level. As construction managers, we're used to sourcing materials and equipment from a relatively small radius, usually less than 50 miles from the job site. Today, on our projects, we're shopping for materials hundreds of miles away and shaving days and weeks off the construction schedule. Our projects are a far cry from a Tesla factory. The same principles apply. You need to gain control over your supply chain, and that means being extremely resourceful and doing the unconventional. There's a lot of shadow inventory in the system right now, so many people have hoarded inventory in response to the material shortage. I was recently offered a supply of three-quarter inch plywood for flooring that was sitting in a contractor's inventory. Now let me be clear, I can source plywood, but I'm mentioning this simply to illustrate that contractors are sitting on inventory, and it's not part of the usual supply chain. If you're simply looking to Google for answers and searching the inventory of the big box stores, you're looking the same place as everyone else is for inventory. That's the lazy approach. The shadow inventory is not searchable online. It's hidden and it's below the radar. As you think about that, you may have to get resourceful in order to meet your project schedules. Have an awesome rest of your day. Go make some great things happen. Talk to you again tomorrow.